G'day, welcome back. It's Chris the Guitar Amp Tech from Sydney, Australia here. Today we're going to look at part two, what are class A, class AB and class B. The previous video we discussed class D and uh, you'll find a link to that there. To do this, I'm going to hand over to the host of the descriptions of the different classes, Mr. P.I. Well, thank you, Chris. I consider myself as the brains of the output stage of an amplifier. Like a great conductor, I instruct the two or four power valves to perform the symphony of music that you provide with your guitar. Chris has asked me to help you understand the difference between Class B, Class AB, and Class A, and single-ended Class A. To do this, I'm going to need the help of a couple of my friends that work in the power tube department. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Pull. Ah, uh, good day, P.I. And Mr. Bush. Uh, top of the morning to you, Mr. P.I. Well, to help you better understand the four different classes, we will be using the analogy of soaring through a log with a double-ended saw. So, let's start with class B. We are going to use a sine wave to represent the guitar signal amplified many times of its original size, thanks to my colleagues in the preamp department. My job is to reproduce this signal perfectly. Now, the good news for you, Mr. Pull, is that when Mr. Push is doing his work, you can have a nice rest. Likewise for your good self, Mr. Push, when Mr. Pull is doing his work. Right, where you go, in Bush. Pull, push. You got the wrong time, and you're both resting too much, even resting at the same time. See where those black lines in the graph are? The saw has stopped moving, and the amp is no longer amping. This is called crossover distortion, and I do not like it. I have a suggestion for you, gentlemen. Yeah, what's that, you toff? I want you to do your pull all the way back as before. But when you pass the halfway point where the arrow meets the dotted line, I want you to go just a little bit further to help Mr. Push get started. Struth, that's more work for me. I'll be getting more tired. Yes, but you'll still get plenty of rest time. The same goes for you, Mr. Push. I can assure you that you won't get too tired. Uh, it won't be a problem for me, Mr. P.I. Right. Where you go. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Good work, gentlemen. I'm going to call this one Class A.B. As you can see in the graphic below, red goes a little bit into the blue territory and blue goes a little bit into the red territory. It reminds me a little bit of the Battle of Fredericksburg. Oh, but I digress. We have no crossover distortion, and that's the important thing, because I don't like it. I have another idea, gentlemen. I think I shall call this one Class A. Now, Mr. Push, I'd like you to push continuously for the whole stroke of the saw in both directions. What, while the lazy Australian sits there watching me sweat? Not so, Mr. Push, for Mr. Pull will be working the whole stroke. There will be no break for either of you. Now, push, pull, push, pull. Crikey, P.I. Oh, I'd watch myself after this. I'm heading for a short, and I might take you with me. So you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there is no possibility of crossover distortion in Class A. There would be pluses and minuses. Mr. Push, Mr. Pull will certainly be getting more tired in Class A, but we will have some sonic differences to Class A B. In Class A, we will produce second order harmonics, which some say are sweeter than iced tea in the deep south, or an amplified terminology, a vox compared to the more aggressive third-order harmonics of uh, Class A-B that we may hear in a Marshall, for example. I'll just interrupt Mr. Faze Inverter.
to say that there will be several commenters saying that a Vox amp is not a true Class A and is more correctly called a cathode bias amp. While that is correct, a Vox amp is still more Class A than, say, a Marshall or a Fender. And I'll explain what I mean by that a bit more in a future video. So can we actually achieve Class A? Well, yes. But for this description, I will only need one person, Mr. Push and Pull. Bonjour, je m'appelle Monsieur Push and Pull. I will be talking to you about single-ended Class A. I don't need the conductor, Monsieur Phase Inverter, nor do I need another person at the other end of my saw. I will amplify the entire signal as delivered to me by Madame Preamp single-handedly. Oui, I shall be hot. But mon Dieu, I will sound très magnifique, for I am truly Class A. I have always loved single-ended Class A amps but they were let down by their ubiquitous 8-inch speakers and low wattages. The most famous single-ended Class A? Mm, have to be the Fender Champ, for sure. What started as a student model has gone on to be a well-respected recording amp. Another example, the Vox AC4. But you can probably guess where this is going. Well, I'm leading you down the garden path to a great, exciting development. But you're going to have to just wait a little bit longer. I'll see you at the next video.